walking beam engine. That's the walking beam itself. That's what transferred power from one from the uh, boiler from the cylinder to the wheels. Mm -hmm. And after the engines were installed, the ships would be towed back to another specialist yard, and all the cabinetry or uh, carpentry work would be done. And this is when the cabins would be built around the boilers and the engines themselves. And this gives some idea of the elaborate interiors and why they were called palace steamers. They tried to make them look like the finest hotels on earth because it gave the passengers a sense of security and safety. Mm -hmm. And although there's no pictures of the Keystone State's interior, this is a later side wheeler that gives some idea of, the, of how elaborate these interiors were. Most of the light that was supplied was natural light, so there were always rows of lights called clear stories that illuminated all the decks down below. And the crowning glory was this huge skylight. It was usually uh, leaded glass, and they were made by companies like Tiffany's in New York. And so the interiors of these ships were just incredible. Hmm. In fact, the ships themselves were probably some of the finest wooden side wheelers that were built anywhere in the world. 